aqui era a casa de campo de, Santa Isa, de Isabel. Tanto que nós vemos aqui no fundo esse poço onde ela tirava água. Era o fundo da casa onde ela morava. Né? Aqui do lado dessa grade nós temos aquela pedra em que ela colocou o menino para salvá-lo da perseguição de Herodes. Estes eram os que estavam matando as crianças, né? os é, soldados de Herodes, crianças de menos de 4 anos. Então aqui ela salvou. E aqui na frente nós temos justamente o encontro de Isabel com Maria. É justamente é o sentido desse local. A, a visitação, a visita que ela fez aqui, o encontro de Maria e Isabel. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. As Elizabeth greeted her Galilean cousin, she felt the baby moving in her womb. Mary hailed her cousin with a song of thanksgiving, the Magnificat. Ein Karim is about 150 kilometers from Nazareth. A several day trip for someone who is not pregnant. Imagine then Mary arriving after such a long journey, hungry, tired and thirsty. So one asks, what food would Elizabeth have prepared for her traveling cousin? Let's find out. Antonio Andiamo. Prendi questo sciomaro, prendilo. Asparagus was rather a new vegetable in the Holy Land at the time. Chances are that the asparagus of 2,000 years ago is somewhat different from the strain we are using today. But this will do. To cook well, we have to put them upright in the pot. Antonio? So that the hard part is on the bottom and the soft part is on the top outside of the water. Well, now it's just about ready. Bye, Antonio. Più basso, Antonio, portalo qua. Remember, don't overcook them, only a few minutes. Beautiful, isn't it? And very tasty. And now we go to the main course. Lamb chops. Antonio, grazie. We don't need a lot of time to prepare lamb chops and garlic. What we do, we spread them like this. Some olive oil. Like this. Antonio, the garlic, please. You spread a little bit of garlic on top. I like a lot of garlic. Now we're gonna add some rosemary for a nice aroma. Spread it on top. Okay. Now it's ready to cook. Ah, they smell beautifully already. You can take all the rest of it. Et voilà, and we are ready to cook. In the meantime, we're going to prepare some wonderful mustard sauce. We take some mustard seeds.
We crash them. They are hard, so we have to crush them. Then we'll add some oil. A little bit of vinegar, Antonio vinegar. Questo qua è sempre addormentato. And to thicken it, we're gonna put breadcrumbs from yesterday's bread to thicken it. Dry bread, of course. Okay. A little bit more oil. A touch of vinegar for the good taste. Okay, now it's ready. The sauce should be prepared at the very last moment. This sauce goes well with asparagus and lamb chops. Now they are ready. And for dessert, what could be better than fresh fruit? Grazie Antonio. Mm. Buona giornata. Eh. Antonio, ma dove ho trovato questo scemo? Anto! Sei peggio di questo sciomar. Ecco, vieni qua. Arrivederci till the next time when we return with another episode of Feast of Fate.